Guys, for cheap and reliable coins, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA at checkout for a discount. You can see, guys, they have loads of different coins up. Obviously, the prices will change as the game comes out more. It's cheap, fast, reliable. They do comfort trade, 100% legit, straight to your account for the cheapest price on the whole internet. Guys, I have started a free Discord. The link is down below in the description. Please do click and join the Discord. There'll be lots of different trading tips, stuff like that, in the actual um, Discord itself. But also, guys, I have started a Patreon. You can feel free to join at any level you like. See how it is. Um, you can make lots of different coins. I'll give extra tips, basically, you know, up to the gold tier where I'll trade in your account for you and make you lots of coins. I'll be expecting you guys to make probably 1 million, 2 million per week with this. So, obviously, it's a very good value thing. So, yeah, I hope you do enjoy, guys, and I will see you all very soon in the video. Hey guys, what is going on today? Welcome to a brand new video, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you the top five best players to trade with on FIFA 21. So we're going to start off with number five, guys. There's no order to this at all. It's just basically players that I find really, really useful when trading. So the first one is going to be Kai Havertz. Here. You can see he goes for around 5.8k. Uh, right there, that's an insane deal. That goes for about 7k. Really annoying, actually. But you can see he's about 5.9 at the moment. Um, he's staying around this sort of price. You'll get 5.9 if you're patient. If you want a quick sell, 5.8. You want to go to like 5-5 five, five and just snipe everything that comes up and straight away the fat oh my god 5k and a hunter that would have been about a 7k sale um you sort of get the gist straight away there's a lot of profit to be made on this guy he just gets listed all the time i don't know why there's just something about him where he keeps coming up and up and up so it's always worth searching him um, i'm going to show you three base players followed by um hunter again jesus christ Followed by two a little bit more expensive cards that I do like to trade with. So if you guys do have a little bit of less coins, I think that'd be a bot on habits right now. I'm pretty sure because these are going very fast. So I'm sniping. I'm not the fastest at sniping, but I'm pretty fast. And these are going extremely fast, especially on Xbox. I don't know how they're going so quick. So we'll just search for another minute or so, or maybe 30 seconds. Then we'll move on before I get kicked out because I don't want that happening in the video every time I search a player. Because currently the market bans happen every like fucking two seconds. Excuse my language. And we move on now to the second player. We're going to go for one of the expensive ones. And I'm going to mix it in between. It's going to be Malin one to watch. So this guy right now is going for about 21k, I believe, 22k, something like that. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit less. Maybe 21 and a half right now. Um, I mean, really? 22k it is with about 10 million listed, which is very interesting. So you want to go for him at about 20k. Um, just to make the profit after tax like 700 coins to make it worth it you can go at 20.5 if you're going for like 200 coin profits it's totally up to you and what you feel comfortable with i've managed to bid on this oh my good night what the hell yeah just wow that was um yeah this is a pro trader <laughs> yeah let's just ignore that happen let's pretend that didn't happen I would cut it out, but I'm too lazy to edit. <laughs> but yeah, we'll keep... What is happening? Right, we'll keep searching here at 20k and see if we can get one. Um, we'll just see here now. Malin, he's not looking very interested here to come up. But there's a little tip here that I always do is go to midfielder and just search him. Because there's sometimes a couple of cheeky little deals on him. You can see here, look, 24k. We'll drop this in at 23 and just see what's going on. We'll just cast it out. 22k in a centre mid. So what I now do is go to centre mid. I'm putting about 28k. See what's going on. You can see there's loads of spam. Some idiots have decided to listen for really cheap. So we move on from that now. And we go to the third player. Which is another player which is quite cheap. It's Vinicius, Ju Vinicius Junior. Um, he's about 10k. Uh, okay. He's okay. Yep. Yeah, he's 11k now. Um, don't know what happened there. We'd love to see it though, and what you want to do is now, there's two methods to this, so in left mid look, he goes for about 12k I think, something like that, so you can try and snap all the left mid ones at like 10.5 and, and sell them on for like 11,750, that's the first method, you can see there's loads of them, but um, that's the method that you can be bothered to sit and do this, 10.5 again look, just sell them for 11,750, it's an easy little bit of profit, you can keep searching in left mid as well, it happens quite often that they come up, um, 10k, <laughs> yeah, you sort of get the gist here now, aren't you? So, what's going on? We check the 11k on it's not sold, that doesn't matter. Like, we have the patience, we're a patient channel. We um, we sit and wait for our profit really patiently. Um, 
here and we just search a couple more times to see what's going on. Um, this is the best way to do it because there's a lot of competition in left wing. There's no real point in my opinion to sit in there on the left wing one. You can if you want to but you'll probably win 1 out of 10 which obviously isn't what you want to be going for. So there we go, we're going to lift this up for 11.5k um, right here right now. I don't know why I'm talking in that weird riddle, sorry. Um, so 11750 for both of them, about a 1.7k profit after tax, maybe something like that. And the fourth player now is going to be, we'll do the cheap player first because we'll save the best one till last. And it's going to be Jamie Vardy. So this guy um, is going for around, I think, 9k now. Yeah, he's dropped a little bit, 9k I think. Something like that. They're all pretty simple players to trade with. That. There's no real difficulty. But what I do again is, guys, I'm very like weird when it comes to trading. You can see, but you can see here in the camp, the center mid, stuff like that. 11k is the go-to. So you can sit on that, or what you can do is go to Hunter right here and just check him here at like I don't know 11.5. You can see is that oh, perfect? There we go. See what you're gonna do now. You can put in here is like 9.5 and just sit and search him. And look for deals in either midfield positions or hunter and just keep searching at this price and then hope one comes up and obviously you can go for ones to go for like 8.8 8.9k as well so there's two like little methods in one here i have a feeling this has sold it hasn't um okay that's fine nine oh god i'm glad i didn't buy that that would have been a bad buy it went about eight 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 nine on him um you'll make coins but not a lot you'll make about 50 coins which obviously you don't want to be doing but yeah you can just keep searching in and out looking for the midfielders or the hunter and as soon as you see it unleash and buy hawk there i mean hawk might sell for a little bit but we're not going that pedantic 9k it's it's close but not quite we need an 8 9 8 8 really i mean if it's still there i would buy it normally sometimes and no, it has gone probably for the best because i'd have been an embarrassing profit Sometimes I just like pick anything up because I just think I've got the coins, it doesn't matter. Like, what's the worst that happens? I sell it for 100 coins profit, a bit more tax, a bit more profit. Sorry, I'm a transfer leaderboards, you know, I'm a transfer market whore when it comes to it. And yeah, we're just going to keep searching, looking for hunters, looking for midfielders. Of course, none are going to show up now because we want one, but um, yeah, we can't complain. And then we get kicked out, so a bit of suspense on time for me to talk quickly, actually. Pretty, pretty good timing, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the recent videos. I am still away at the weekend at the moment. It should be out on Saturday if all things have gone to plan. If it hasn't gone to plan, it's probably out on Sunday. Um, so you'll know either way if that's happened. Um, but yeah, so pretty much I'm at my mum's house. That's all at the weekend, so I won't be here. I will, however, be uploading still, hopefully. And yeah, I just want to get some different videos out for you guys. Anything down below, guys, comment though. If there's anything at all that you do want to see, anything like that, please let me know. And you can see both in units have both sold on, which is perfect. And the final play, guys, is going to be a little more of an expensive one again. But it's not wild, it's not out of control or expensive. It's just a decent price, really, for a player. And it's actually going to be the man himself. Where has he gone? Lewandowski, there he is. So this guy is about 50k. He was 50k. He's now shut the bed. Even better, this is good times. He's about 46 now, which is very interesting. And very that is a probably a deal as well. Let's just check. That, my friends, is a risky one. But I feel like Cam Hunter Lewandowski, you can't go wrong. So this is where we now go and check the hunter of him. Uh Hunter Lewandowski. Don't worry, I've oh, got him from midfielder. Did I? Don't worry about the how many there is. So you can see here, there's none in the camp other than the 49k. So we're going to match the 49k basically. We're going to go and sell it on for the same price, which is absolutely fine. Like there's no issue with that. It will easily sell on. But what I'm going to do? I'm going to go 49 and a half and for a day because I'm going to be away. So who cares? We'll just list it up and know it's going to sell and hope nothing drops because if it drops in price, GG. I want Lewandowski for the rest of the year. And I couldn't really resist that buy there. It was a pretty nice price, especially in that sort of position. And oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna end up with no coins in a minute, and it's everyone's fault but mine. Um, shit. <laughs> yeah, that probably was pro an outrageous buy. It probably was pretty pointless again. But I just get excited when I see hunters and start buying them. Um, they will sell. It's just I've got to wait a bit now. 43k in a hunter. Holy crap! What is going on? Okay, we're out of coins. GG. Um, so this one's going to be listed up again here for 49. Um, it's not a massive profit, it's about a K, not even that probably. And this one in a hunter is obviously a normal striker, so 
this won't be a massive price like it's gonna be nothing crazy you can see here look 47k so we paid what 43 it's like a 1k again um about 3k profit on low and does you see how popular he is though and how often he pops up which is always good like we want players like that hope you enjoyed this video guys thanks for watching i managed to ramble on for 10 whole minutes here which is pretty good Bit of ad revenue perfect but yeah thanks for watching if you have enjoyed please do drop a like sub if you're new as well and i'll see you all very soon